Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we are currently auto-saving. Oh, it helps if I switch to the correct scene. There we go. Perfect. We are currently auto-saving because it was 1 February there. I think that was an auto-save anyway. And we are currently in this situation here. Now, we need to definitely take a little bit of a pause out over here. I'm going to keep cautiously attacking over here, probing their defenses, maybe taking a little bit of territory like here. But for the moment, what we're really interested in is getting our logistics back here up to scratch. That's very, very important. And I was thinking about this planned invasion over here. To be honest, I don't think that we can get away with having three fronts open. Because that's functionally what we'll have. We have this front here, we have this front here, and then we'll have this front here. I don't think we can do that. I think we just lack the forces to pull that off. So I think our better bet would be to assign this force to this front line here. Um, there we go. Assign the force to this front line, and we'll consolidate this together a little bit later on. But we'll bring these guys up, and it'll take them some time to get there. But that's okay. Uh, we do have some free military factories here. Let's toss in, like, two factories into each of these. How are we doing for our supplies here? Looks good. For our resources, I mean. So that's absolutely great. We're going to continue to dig in on this front. But I think that we need additional reinforcements up here. I think that that's vital. And we're going to continue to recruit. Off camera, I did go through and figure out exactly what we needed to get this army up to full, plus have an additional army. This is what we need. So you can see here, we're not doing any additional recruitment beyond this. Uh, this is going to be fine. Yeah. So we're not going to do any additional recruitment beyond this for now. And that'll be okay. So we're working on pushing in a little bit on this front. This front is going to need, I think, eventually some reinforcement. I'm much more concerned about this front over here because they just have a large number of troops in these areas. Like, look at how many more troops they have here than we have. Or here, where we have just a single tank unit. Like, that's quite bad. We only have 24 divisions to cover this front, and we certainly need more. So we're shipping these guys on over. And they will arrive over here in the eventual time. <laughs> the question is, how long will it take them to get to that front? Well, we're going to continue to work on digging in in the meantime. We're actually pushing up over here, too. I don't mind pushing up, but I want to look at our logistics over here real quick. We have a naval base here that's unconnected. We should probably work on connecting that. I'm going to put that down here as far as the priority for that goes we need to get these railroads upgraded that's quasi important but not tremendously important this railroad is pretty important i'll put that about here these railroads getting them upgraded would be somewhere around here in importance i think okay so let's get a lot of these land forts done, but what we need more than anything out over here is simply additional units. I mean, we're doing okay for supplies over here, it looks like, even though we're not connected with the railroads here. But uh, we'll get connected soon enough. Wait, are we connected? We are not. Let's see. It's this connection here. Tunseli to Urzurum. Where is that? It must be in here somewhere. Because I see that it is queued up. So let's just look through. These are all repairs here. Those are, of course, automatically happening. It might have gotten put at the bottom here. No, it did not. And there's all of our anti-air and infrastructure. An additional anti-air and infrastructure. An air base in Chad. We can probably just cancel that. Okay. I'm not seeing this railroad. It might be named something different than what, what I'm expecting. It must be this one. Yes, it is this one. And there's this railroad as well here. 
But for now, this is the most important thing. Okay, looks like we're good on that front. We are being attacked up over here. For the moment, we're holding that off. We definitely need to continue work on this railroad. Okay. So we're bringing that railroad up. That'll be done on 26 February, so I'm reasonably okay with that one. I want to check in on these supply hubs here. We can bump up the motorization level on them, for sure. Now, this one's already motorized. And this one's motorized as well. We may want to st start thinking about a supply hub over here. This one apparently doesn't have any connection. And that's because this hasn't been finished yet. So we're working on that. I'm not too concerned about pushing up over here. If we see opportunities, we'll take it. We're slowly pushing up over this way, it looks like. Very slowly. The question is... How far away are these units? They are still quite a ways. And we can see here just the sheer number of troops that the Germans are arraying against us up here. 27 and 28. That's a lot. Even with our bonuses from being dug in, in the mountains, with all of these land forts, I don't think we hold off against that. And that's why we're bringing in additional reinforcements. We can see them launching probing attacks up over here. But there's a lot of troops on this flank. Now, once we arrive over here... Man, we're still so far away. When will we arrive up here? Oh, they're launching a full-on attack now? Okay. What can we do about it? We can buy some time with a last stand. That'll give us a lot more defense and entrenchment for seven days. The question is, do we need it right now? Across most of this front, things are looking good. It's currently 14 February. When is this railroad going to be done? That's incredibly important. 28 February? So another two weeks. We are getting some supply flow via this naval base. But it's not a lot. I really don't want to move forces up here. We can assign the railway gun over on this side. That'll help somewhat. But this is very grim here. No doubt about that. And these guys are still a very long ways away. So what do we want to do about that? Well, mostly we're winning across this front right now. This location is the only real concern at this moment. We could move up this fresh infantry unit and come in like so. Hope that the Americans can hold here for a little bit. Ooh, they did actually manage to take that before we got there. Let's move these guys back in like this. And let's just assist this attack. Hopefully we can get that. And their reinforcements arrived and we could not. Well, the question is, wait, they're retreating? Hang on, they're retreating. Get up here. Holding is gonna be real rough. We were immediately pushed back out. Get in here. They have very little supplies here. They're piling a lot of forces in. What's the air situation here? 
I think we can take advantage of this. Yes. Let's head up here. And let's fly in the Caucasus region real fast here. They just moved a bunch of planes in. I want you guys air superioritying. They are. They're just not actually flying right now. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. Right there. They pulled all of their planes out. Okay. So all we're going to do is look to weaken them along this front. We may try to push with this. This is a long front line. And then there's this out over here. Now these guys aren't in yet. I'm not that concerned about this side. It's this flank. So if we were to just nuke all along here, just one nuke, like so, kaboom, that's going to do a lot of damage to them. And now we launch a follow-up attack. We do have a rail connection over here now, so that's good. Or maybe we don't attack. Hang on. Did we get pushed out of this area? Zero land points. Okay. I think this is the only location we lost anything at. That only had three land forts. Okay. I would like to eventually bump all of these up. So let's get these building up to 10. That's not necessarily the absolute highest priority. I want to get some of these railways done first. And then order these something kind of like so. Okay. I think we're not going to try to push along this front. Although... Taking these two supply hubs would be a very big deal. But that would extend our lines dramatically, and I'm not sure that we want to do that. So I'm going to tell all of these to halt their attacks for right now, at least until our reinforcements show up. That said, I do want to hit here. So we're going to move in. Something like so. Excellent. Was that just a naval invasion? Out over here. Okay. Uh, we were just hoping that they wouldn't actually do this. <laughs> we'll see what ends up happening. We may have to dispatch this force. The Americans might actually handle this for us. And these guys over here. We'll keep an eye on that. For right now, we do have additional factories available. One, to be precise. There we go. And I'd very much like to take this position back. Okay. We got it for now. The question is, can we hold it? But we definitely want to queue up our land forts there. We'll put that about here. Okay, cool. Now, are there any of these that we definitely need to prioritize? I mean, probably. We'll do something like that. 
The rest of these, I think, are okay to languish for a bit. And we should probably think about pulling these guys back into, like, Asia Minor. Or, more specifically, just telling them cease operations for the moment. We just need to do surgical strikes with them. Okay, we're resupplying up here. And these units are now landing. They should be able to move up fairly quickly with the railroad. Uh, what's going on over here? They're just chilling in Oran. These guys are not responding. Okay. So we'll have to bring these units over to here. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. We'll just have to continue to hold here. Our logistics are getting better, as are our land forts. I'm going to drop this guy down to here for the moment. Cool. I definitely want to just hold this front. If we can attack over here, that'd be great. But this front is mostly static as well. For the moment, that's fine. We are moving these guys over. And when are they going to arrive here? 16 days? That's a while. But we're moving reasonably quickly. We just don't want them to bisect us here. Actually, if they don't have anyone in that naval base, I want to just grab that. As soon as we can get there. The Dominican Republic, we accept that. They can move troops through our territory. Yes. So we are currently seeing an attack on this front. I'm not hugely shocked about that. They may push us back slightly. We'll see. This front is holding for now. And we are arriving over here. Okay, we can see that they've landed additional troops. I'm just waiting for the moment. I'm letting these guys move out. Okay, and they have, in fact, bisected us here. So they can come this direction, but we're waiting for additional forces to arrive here. They'll be here soon. What is this? India. Actually, we accept that for right now. This is looking good. I think we might have gotten pushed back here. Actually, we didn't. We're holding here. I like it. How are we doing on our recruitment? It's looking okay. In fact, we have some unassigned divisions over here. So, we have four units of armor. We need, I believe, five units of armor here. So we need one more unit of armor into this army. And we're going to immediately grab our infantry, which are much better for defense. We have six infantry units. We're going to create ourselves a new army here. And we are going to send them over to help hold this line. So we'll front line them here. And they'll head on over for now. Excellent. So off they go. They will arrive in the eventual times. Okay. So our tanks are arriving here. I immediately want to push into Oran. And we will start that right now. Nope. That's not going to happen right now. Okay. So we're waiting for some of these units to make their way here. And we'll let them reinforce a little bit. Or rather, let, let them bring up their organization a little bit. But that is already rising. And that's good. I want to move these guys in here if we can. And we will assist with this unit. Because I want to get wrapped around here. Okay. For the moment, I'm checking in on this side. It looks okay. I'm going to drop these guys down in priority to here. Cool. 
And we're working on our logistics out over here. And over here, for that matter. Our logistics are improving, but this is currently our primary focus. So, I'd really like to attack here. If we can push them back here, that's a huge, huge deal. Then we can bring these guys in. We'll just stop there for now. I'm just trying to hold these guys in position here. Come on, get up there. You can do it. Okay. Now I want to check our motorization status here. We are fully motorized. Okay. I'd really like it if these guys would do something. Oh, they are actually heading over here now. But I wonder if they're going to give it to other people. <laughs> other than us. That would not be great, necessarily. We might run into this situation again. Checking out over this way, it looks good. For the time being. I was hoping that the Germans would just neglect to do this. But sadly, it seems like they're not interested in neglecting to do that. We're going to bring this tank up. And the tank is going to join in this attack. Okay. For the time being, we're keeping the pressure on. Cool. And the Americans are beginning to engage on this side. Looks good. More German troops are pouring in here. Oh, we have additional unassigned divisions here. So we're going to assign two of these to this army. That fills out this army entirely. The other division goes here. Cool. Okay. Checking in on all of this construction. It appears to be reasonable. We'll move this on down. Okay. We're having a really hard time dislodging these guys. Like, an incredibly hard time of it. But if we can take Oran, that's huge. Yeah, they're giving this over to Free France. Hopefully they get kicked out of there. Man, we just cannot push these guys out. There we go. Now we're about to. Okay. Now we absolutely need to get this tank unit into Oran. That is top priority. That will cut off all of their supplies here. Burma just capitulated. Okay, sure. And that is Oran taken. Unfortunately, they took this over. But that is huge for the supplies. At this point, we just want to try to hold Oran. And they're attacking over this way. I'm letting our troops rearrange over here. Checking in over this way looks okay. How are we doing on our constructions? This can be bumped down in priority. Cool. We're just trying to keep this fairly even across the board in terms of land fort construction. We do have more military factories that we can toss in. Okay. So they're attacking the Americans very heavily here. What I want to do at this point, this is not a very well-positioned naval base. It's also only a level 3 naval base. I want to attack here. We will also attack from here, not these guys. I want to move this unit over to here for sure, but these four will assist in this attack. In the meantime... These two units will push into here. Okay. We should be able to take those positions. Checking in over here, just making sure that we're good. Would appear that we are. Fantastic. Okay, we've pushed them out of here. What we really need to be doing 
is attempting to push them out of this naval base at this time. Okay. So we're just pushing in here for the moment. And I'd like these guys to attack here along with this tank unit. Cool. We pushed them here. And that's all looking okay. Uh, this is maybe looking less good, but I want these guys to assist the attack. You guys should all be assisting this attack here. You guys can assist this attack. Okay. So Oran was taken. The question that I have now is, how much more of this can we get? And the answer is, I think, quite a lot. But we can see that there's quite a lot of German troops out over here. It's going to be interesting, for sure. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue trying to re-push them out of North Africa. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.